All right, today we're going to show you how to test the TDS in your 14 stage purification system. You're going to need a catch container, possibly a cloth or paper towel, most importantly the TDS meter that came with the system, and the extensions if you have them. If you do not, they are not necessary. All right, the first thing we want to do during testing is locate the tank isolation valve screwed to the tank and close it. This will remain closed throughout the entire testing procedure. The next thing you want to do is stick this extension into the tank test valve, which is the first valve we're going to test, point it into your container and open it. And it's going to come out gushing at first, but then it's going to slow to a trickle. And that's the water coming out of the system as it's being made. Once the water slows to a trickle, as you can see it's doing here. We are now gonna let it run for 90 seconds to flush the water out of the system and test the water that's currently being made. So once the system is flushed for 90 seconds, you're still gonna see that continued trickle. You're gonna get your TDS meter, just click that button to turn it on. Make sure it says PPM in the bottom right hand corner. At that point, you're just gonna take this cap and you're gonna fill it about halfway full. Just enough for it to cover the meter. You're gonna then just place that in there and record the number that it records. In this case, it, you know, our goal is zero, but record whatever number it says. Repeat those readings a total of five times and record all five readings. All right, the second valve we're gonna test is called the membrane test valve. It's on the right-hand side of your 14-stage system. Again, we can use the extension, but they're not necessary. And the same as we did before, we're gonna open this valve and let it run for 90 seconds until once it becomes a slow trickle. Now that this valve's flushed for 90 seconds, you can still see that there's a slow trickle coming out. With the meter on, again, you're gonna fill this cap a third to a half full. Just continue to let that valve run, it'll be fine. Put that in there, get your reading. In this case, it is most likely going to be higher than your tank test valve. Repeat these readings five times and record all five. The third location we wanna test is your actual RO spigot. You're just literally gonna turn that on, let it run and test, get your readings, do that five times. Last location we're gonna test is your kitchen faucet. This is the incoming water to your 14 stage system. Go ahead and just turn it on slightly. No need to flush it. Go ahead and just fill that cap part way. Take your reading. In this case, we're about 187. You need to repeat that five times and record all the readings. 